Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 25th, 26th, and 27th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Cancers. Hello, my darling Cancers. Now, you know when I am reading for the weekend, I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks, my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson crystal decks. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Okay. We have a card that's all, we have two cards that have flipped open. So let's go put those down like that. Now, I am an intuitive channeler. Did I say this? I, I, that I open myself to higher power, whatever the message is, my job, just deliver it. Don't have to understand it. And here we go. Um, there was, I'm sorry that the readings are late, but there, you know, like I said, we have to keep our vibrations very, very high. Um, you know, I had some plumbing issues. So each night, each day, it was like, oh, every time I try to sit down, it's like, nope, got to go do this, got to do that. It's all resolved. Uh, higher power sent angels to help anyway and got it all done. Anyway, let's see what we have for my cancers. Here we go. I'm going to kind of let this one stay like this for a second. This one is reverse. So this has a lot of, um, lot of energy with this. Now this is an earth energy. This is Capricorn. This is also Taurus. This is also Virgo, solid, something, someone you can touch, money energy. There could be some decisions coming. I don't know. This could be decisions in your home. This could be decisions in your money, your, how you make your money. It could be decisions in how you spend your money there. But this does have a lot of money energy with some decisions with this. But I don't feel that this is you overspending your money or not necessarily having enough money. This is, this is kind, I kind of feel like this has a lot of business decision energy with this. So you could be, you know, you could be hearing about it, that job, a new job, um, or you could be figuring out how to pay off bills and, you know, you might in there, but in order for you to pay off the bills, the money has to still come in. But I feel that this has that energy. This does have that money, money energy. And how do I use this money? So this could be kind of an unexpected um, boon. It could be an unexpected abundance, you know, gift type of thing. But it's like, how do I spend this money? How do I spend this? How do I do this wisely? Now, my cancers. Remember, remember, your full moon is coming that 29th, 30th. So we're kind of in that three-day cycle, you know, three days before, three days after. As we get close to, like, then it would be then the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, you know, kind of there, you know, I would, you know, release, relinquish, request. This is, again, connect higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine archangels to help you, to help with this guidance. So there is some decisions with this, too, but there's also this money coming in type of energy or this job or this choice of jobs coming in. Anyway, let's go on here. This is too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Your next card is again reversed. So this has some really strong energy here. This is Archangel Jophiel. Now, we have a 17, you know, if we add it together, it's 8 with unlimited opportunities, possibilities. We have a 10, transition, a 1, new start. 7 has that divine umbrella energy too. And obviously this is the star. This is archangel energy. So there is a divine intervention type of energy coming. So this is, the, this is kind of like prayers answered. You know, what do you meditate on? What have you been asking for? So don't be surprised if you hear some answers this weekend, if things start rolling along. This is, you know, you wish upon a star. So again, this is, there's a lot of divine energy coming. Write down Joe Fiel's name to help you through this or when you need it even more so. And again, it, it's, it's this, it's this uh, there's a lot of completion. There's a lot of, you know, again, prayer energy. Your wishes have been heard. The universe wants to give back to you. 
the universe wants to move things along for you. Anyway, happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. Remember, thoughts, words, positive. Your last card, here we go. The Knight of Earth. So there's a, this is a lot to do with, with having a job. This is a lot to do with making your own money. Okay, and I don't mean by a printing press. I mean actually putting in the energies and having the money come back to you. Earth, I mean, knights have the underlying energy of a fire, so there's passion with that. Earth has that practicality. Earth has still that same energy that we talk about with the two of Earth, so there's some decision making. So maybe you are getting, you know, if you've been praying, praying, meditating, putting it out there to the universe about a job coming, about a business coming about a way to make money coming, it seems like there's going to be some answers for you this weekend, okay, this this um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You're going to hear something about this. Or it will be that you see that other, you know, again, maybe you're going through the, the um, internet or something and go, that's the perfect job for me. You get your resume out to them. Now, knights do need a little direction, though. They do need a little, sometimes they need a little motivation, but you, you know, sometimes, sometimes. Anyway, loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Let's go on. So yeah, I do, you know, in here we have an archangel. So there's, there's, you know, you, this is a money weekend for you. This is something you're going to hear something about your money. You're going to hear something about your job. There's going to be some decisions. What are you going to do? You know, are you going to stay where you're at your old job? Are you moving on to the bigger job? Their more money job? Because you wouldn't leave unless there's something that it's going to provide for you. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have a two again. So there's some decisions again with this. Gabriel is our fire energy. Aries, Leo, it's also um, Sagittarius, passionate burning. It's very much that determined type of stuff. Again, this, this, again, these are these choices, choices, choices. Again, you know, so I'm going to say something to do here. Prayers are being answers. Prayers, wishes are being heard. Universe giving back. And now it's what are you going to do with the information? What are you going to do with the choices, my cancers? Because sometimes, you're, you know, it can be a little bit like, well, I wanted it, but now it's here. What do I do with it? Well, you're going to make some choices. Did you really want it? If you did, go for it. This is that time. Go for it. Okay? So, two of Gabriel. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So there's a lot of connections here. So you could be even connecting with somebody who's going to get you to that, that dream job. Or you're going to connect with somebody who's going to help you find financing for that project. You know, there's connections with this. So... You know, I like it. Anyway, my cancers, let's see what crystal card might be helpful for you this weekend. Here we go. This one is reversed. Amatrine. Now, I don't know what amatrine is. I've no, I don't know that I've seen amatrine, but it's quite pretty. Kind of reminds me of amethyst, but it's not. But it's spiritual guidance angelic realms and remember you've got that full moon and you know you're you're the moon baby clear stress which is something totally you need truths revealed things come out in the open which might be why all of this starts happening okay okay so remember we do need my cancers to keep our vibrations really high right now really really high um, our thoughts, our words. I'm sorry my reading is late. But, you know, somebody, you know, the energy, somebody was trying to keep my vibrations low. Things worked out, didn't go there, kept things going. Now, if you do celebrate Christmas, let me wish you a very Merry Christmas. If you don't, let me just wish blessings upon you. As, oh, the button, like, share, do all the good stuff. As always, my Cancers, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.